What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Yeah. See some love, it's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. So yes, I got another set of earbuds for you. They are the Mifo 05s. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know what prompted me to get these. I think um, I was either searching around on Amazon looking for some new earbuds to review or maybe someone might have requested these. I was looking on Amazon and it said that these earbuds, the battery life for these earbuds is 100 hours. It even beats out the Maven Air X's by 50 hours. So I picked these up and I must admit, <laughs> these things, they're a thing of beauty. So you can find these on Amazon for about $87 to $100. The gray standard version is $87 and the gray professional version is $100. Now these are the standards. If I'd have known the difference before I'd have bought these, I would have got the professionals, but I didn't figure that out until after I already had these. So I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and review this anyways. And I looked at these and I tried to go on Amazon and figure out what was the difference between the standards and the professionals. And I couldn't figure it out. But anyways, if this is your first time here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech video. So very quickly, going around this box on the front side, you have a cutout picture of the Mifo 05s. Bluetooth 5.0, seven hours of playing time. So when the earbuds are fully charged, you'll get seven hours of playing time just from the earbuds. 15 times charging provided. So this case right here charges the earbuds back up 15 times over. That's crazy. 100 days of standby time. There are four buttons on here, something that I don't like about this design, but I'll get into that in a little bit. On the back side, it says Bluetooth 5.0, charging box time is four to five hours. Earbud waterproof level IP67. I think they might have meant to say IPX7 or IPX6. I don't know. It says IP67, so they they said they're waterproof. Speaker driver, mini, six millimeter full range dynamic circle sound unit, earbuds play time. If earbuds fully charge one time, six to seven hours. If put into charging box for charging till the charging box no power, Sony needs to work on their grammar. Grand total play time can reach 100 hours. I charged the case up one time and I haven't charged the case up since then. I've had these for about three weeks. Two independent press keys on both right and left earbud can control on, off, volume up, volume down, previous and next song. And it says standard edition on the back, Mifo Smart True Wireless Bluetooth Earbuds 05. So on the inside of the box, you have your user manual, user guide, micro USB cable, different earbuds, you have your case right here and you have your two earbuds down below. So you have a, I don't know what this is to be honest with you. This is a book on top. It's, it's just like, I guess things about the earbud. It's like a promotional pamphlet or something in different languages. I don't know. It, it really doesn't say anything in particular spec wise about the earbuds, but this is the book on top. Inside this box underneath, you will get a micro USB charging cable in lime green. You have five different ear tips that come in the bag, one already on the earbuds themselves. Underneath that box, this is where you'll have the user manual. In the user manual, it is actually lime green. So I'm thinking, is there a lime green version out there? And so th there's different colors for these. Like I said before, there is a standard gray and there's a professional gray. I don't know the difference, but I was online also and I saw a black version, I saw a red version, and I saw a gold version. I don't know if those were just renders by, created by someone else and they're not true, but they look pretty dope, especially the red version. This is something that I got very excited about is the case. Here's the case, it has a sleeve on it. It actually gives you directions on how to pair, but this case right here, there's something about tech items that are small and have a lot of weight to it. I mean, this is a solid metal case. It has some weight to it. The door opens up like this and there's a, a weird kind of hinge design on here. The weight to this, you can just tell that the battery power that they put into this, I think this might be a 2600 milliamp hour battery inside of here. You have your micro USB charging port on the right side, as well as an indicator light. And on the inside, you do have an indicator light as well in the middle. And then you have your left and your right cutouts for your left and your right earbuds. And when I hook this up, there is a green light that flashes and it shows that this thing is charging. And when I open this up on the inside, 
there really isn't any besides the earbuds themselves and the carry lights on the earbuds there's no i thought that was a maybe a, a light on the inside that would be oh there it goes it's flashing green there's a light on the inside when you're charging that actually flashes green and on the inside of the lid it says make it fully optimal that's a uh, pretty dope right there i like that i think that's enough for the case this is not a usb-c port on here neither does this have wireless charging it has the mifo logo on the top it says 05 on the back side i mean in this this case this case this is this is probably the best earbud case that i have seen in my life i mean this case is something else and so in comparison to the apple airpod case here's the airpod case and the mifo case side by side and you'll notice that the mifo case yes is a lot bigger but i mean some people i know some people do complain about things being too heavy you might complain about this thing this thing has some weight to it i like things like this i think this is a well-designed case one of the best out there in my opinion the earbuds on the right side you'll have a red ring around the right side and then on the left earbud you have a blue ring now there's one thing that i do not like about these earbuds now these earbuds, they have a small, very, very small plus and minus button and power buttons on each earbud. If you can see those, those little dots right there, one is a volume up button and it also moves the track up and back. And the other one is the power button. There's power buttons on both of them. Now, I mean, they are very small. I mean, look at my thumbnail and then look at the size of the button. And then you have the indicator lights on the outside as well. And then the microphone holes, I believe these are the microphone holes at the very bottom of the earbuds. Mifo did a very, very, very good job on how they fit inside the ear. They're very slim, very streamlined. You can hardly see them sticking out from the side of my head. Okay, so connecting these to your mobile device, what you wanna do when they're inside the case, the first time you ever charge them, just take them out, they'll cut on, and they'll automatically go into pairing mode. It says dual earbuds pairing is successful. So that means they connected to each other. Now you, what you wanna do is look on your mobile device for MIFO underscore 05. Click that and then it'll say connect it in the right side and that is it. That is it. I think there are some troubleshooting steps in the user manual once if you have problems connecting to it, but I've unpaired and paired and unpaired and paired this to my phone probably about five to six times. Not because it wouldn't pair, but because I just wanted to test it out to make sure. I could not say enough about these headphones. The sound quality. You got the loud penetrating highs, the mids, the mids are very good, and then you really have some good bass. You have very good punchy bass. Are they the best though? That's up for debate. If they had an app, I think it would be able to, you'll be able to customize it a lot better. But as these are standard right out of the box with no EQ available, these things sound amazing. You would not be disappointed if you put your money into these. I mean, the only fallback is if you don't like heavy cases, this thing's pretty heavy. You might not like that, but they fit very good, comfortable. And also they're waterproof. There's only one thing that I just don't like about these, and it's not a setback for me at all, is that when you're looking at the buttons, there's two, there's four buttons on the outside. So you have your volume up and your volume down. They're both on the left side of the earbud, and then you have your power. When I first started using these, and I know I just need time, the volume up and the track forward is on the right one, but it's towards the back of the earbud. That button's toward the back of the earbud and the volume down and the track back is toward the front of the left earbud. So that would have been nice if they'd have been, if the buttons would have both been towards the front. So you don't have to worry about, oh, is this in the back? Is this in the front? Or is this in the front? Or is this in the back? It'd have been nice if both the volume up, volume down buttons was towards the front. And then the power buttons could be towards the back of the earbud. I mean, it really doesn't matter about that the buttons are so small to me, but it's just the placement of them. But that's the only thing that's bothering me about these earphones. Okay, so to power these earbuds off, what you wanna do is hold the power button on each earbud for about five seconds. That will cut the earbuds off manually, or you can just throw them back in the case and that will cut them off. When you listen to your music, what you wanna do to go to the next track, you'll do a long press on the volume up button. And then to go to the previous track, you'll do a long press on the volume down button. Now, a short press on the volume up or volume down button will turn the volume up and turn the volume down. To access your voice assistant, you can either double tap the left or the right power button. Okay, so now the call quality. The call quality on these, they're not bad. 
I mean, what I did, since I'm not in an environment to walk around the city, commute to work, the best thing that I could do is just drive in my car, roll all the windows down, call somebody and let the wind noise act as the ambient noise to see the good, see how good the call quality is. And I mean, the person on the other end can hear me good, but there was a little bit of intermittent sound. I don't know if that was just because of too much wind or whatever, but the person on the other end, they had no problems hearing me. I had no problems talking to them, but there was intermittent sound. I don't know if that's just a one-off of my earbuds or if that's something that people have been experiencing. But if you do have these, or if you know someone, have a friend that has a friend that has these, and they've been experiencing the same thing, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I would love to hear about that. Overall, the only thing that I would change is maybe the button placement of these earbuds. It's kind of confusing when you have your plus button in the back of the right earbud and your minus button in the front of the left earbud. I wish they were placed on either they're both on the front or both on the back of the earbud. They have great sound for not having an EQ. They look good, they fit really well in my ear, they're low profile. I mean, all around these things are amazing. For $87 to $100, you will not be disappointed if you pick these up. And that's it, people. The MIFO 05s, go ahead. The link is in the description. Check these out, see what you like about them. As always, thanks for watching the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas, and I'm out. Peace.